Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. If you are not, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the like button and also the notification bell. So you'll be notified each time I post a new video. So this is my social media planner. This is the Gold Mine and Cocoa Planner that I got from Target. And usually I just decorate this planner during the week. And then um, as the week approaches, I just kind of write down my plans that I um, have for social media, which usually um, doesn't really come to me in, until the week starts. <laughs> I have certain videos that I know for sure when they're going up. And then certain videos that just come to me during the week. So <laughs> mostly this is more of a decorate with me than a plan with me. So this week I am using the Kell of a Plan Roy G. Biv Boxes and Florals Volume 3. And this is for the week of May 29th through June the 4th. Already coming up on June. Um, this is Memorial Day. So coming up on a holiday. So I am going to use this book here. I love the Kelva Plan books, especially her books that kind of have everything that you need. Um, because you, you really don't have to look very far <laughs> for a lot of different things. It has the florals. If you're a floral person, um, it has boxes. Um, dots. If you like to put down little dots for checklists, has all of the things that you need. This is my, these are my tweezers from Print Pression. I try to remember to use my tools. It doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> um, it usually comes to me later on in the process. Yeah, like I was saying, I like using her sticker books because you pretty much have everything you need. Or I have everything I need. At least for this particular plan with me, I do. I did white out the calendars here. I think it had May, June or April, May and June. I did white those out. I haven't really been up to much lately. Um, besides working, I've been working a lot lately um i didn't even put this plan with me up last week because i filmed it but it was a disaster <laughs> when i say it was a disaster it was a disaster matter of fact i'll show you the spread <laughs> let me just cut this off real quick um I hated it. <laughs> I probably should have cut this off, but that's fine. I don't usually write a whole lot. Um, yeah, I hated this spread. I don't even remember what book I used. It was from Hobby Lobby. Um, one of their many Agenda 52 books, um, but I hated it. <laughs> uh, 
while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and see if I can find a doll really quick to match the spread. That's usually one of the last things I do. But let's see if I can find one really quick. Um, I usually print my dolls. I will grab them from either Creative Fabrica or Etsy. I put them in Cricut Design Space, put an offset around them, and cut them with my Cricut. And Maybe her, let's see what else I got. And then these are just little photo albums I get from Dollar Tree. And I just pop them in. She's cute. I don't know if she matches though. She's also cute. That's more of a fall the outfit. She's cute. So is she really. <laughs> They're cute. I just printed these. I don't know if they really match though. Maybe. I don't think she matches. this week I might have to go with her she might be the best match been doing anything besides working 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 oh no I think I'm gonna use her um oh, right on the floor that went um yeah just Working to the point to where I'm just really, really tired. I'm going to use her. Yeah, I like her. I try to get a variety of dolls um, from... Etsy and Creative Fabrica. I also have some from Design Bundles. I don't know if I've printed any from Design Bundles in a while. I really think I pressed my white out too hard. <laughs> 
I haven't quite. Got the gist of it yet. <laughs> I was going to cover my twenty twenty-three, but I think we all we all know it's twenty twenty-three, right? <laughs> <laughs> but now we do. Um, yeah, so I don't really have any floral boxes. I'll just use that for my stats and I'll just put my little stat script there. So yeah, just um not really much going on at all. I'm excited because Will Trent got a second season. I saw that um, Shamar Moore was doing a campaign to get SWAT a seventh season. Now, I'm going to be honest, I haven't watched SWAT since. Oh, gosh. I don't even. I can't even tell you if I finished the, did I finish the first season of SWAT? <laughs> I can't even tell you if I finished the first, I think I did. I want to say I finished the first season of SWAT. Um, but I don't think I finished the second season of SWAT. Um, but it got canceled. And then Shamar Moore did a campaign and it did get that seventh season. So, but the, the seventh season is going to be the final season um, of SWAT. Um, something else got renewed. My friend was happy about it, but I don't watch that show. So I can't even tell you what it was. Um, there is a writer strike, so not sure how that's going to affect a lot of shows. Um, you know, for people. Um, the Roku channel was doing two months of a lot of premium channels for 99 cents. So I did stars so I can watch the second season of Run the World. Um, that starts on May 26th, so I'm going to watch the second season of Run the World. Um, I feel like I want to put like a quote or something. Um, always when I get here, I get kind of stuck <laughs> because I feel like I want to put something else. It feels kind of plain, but also I don't want to overdo it. Um, because I, I feel like I tend to overdo it sometimes. Um, I think I might 
put this little um, thing here. Um, so I did the two months for 99 cents for stars. And then I did the two months for 99 cents for BET Plus. Um, Monique has a movie on there called The Reading, I think. Um, so I'm going to watch that. I probably should have put that over more and kind of cut a little bit off, but I think that's fine. Um, and then I might find a quote in another book and put it here. And I think that'll be it. Um, so I'll, I'll check out the shows that are on there. I don't think... I don't think BET Plus will be something that I really want to keep. So I think I'll be fine once the two months are over with that for 99 cents. And then stars. I'm always, I never want to keep stars anyway. I just want to watch that show around the world. Um, I did watch the first season and I enjoyed it. And then I really want um, Apple TV Plus. I'm trying to see what, T-Mobile has because I think they have something but if I got to get a second line I'm not doing the T-Mobile special <laughs> but I want Apple TV Plus because I want to watch that movie with Chris Evans and um, Anna D. Diarmes, I think that's her name and then I want to watch that show with Jennifer Garner the last thing he said to me I think is what it's called I want to watch that um, there's a couple other things I want to watch on Apple TV Plus. So I was hoping that Roku did like a two month 99 cent with them, but they didn't. And Prime is not running a special for Apple TV Plus. So I'll have to check out, see if I can find a special with them. If not, there should be like a free trial or something that I could find for Apple TV Plus. Um, other than that, nothing really going on. So I think that's it for this spread for right now. Like I said, I fill this out as the week goes on. On Sunday, I post my um, catch all plan with me. On Monday, I post this video. Um, I also post my sewing um, and crafting video, whatever that may be on Mondays. Um, sometimes on Wednesday, if I have a sewing and crafting video, I'll post that on Wednesdays as well. And then whatever else comes to me. I don't really plan my social media like I'm supposed to, but I'm trying to get better with that. Um, hopefully in the next coming months, I will get better with social media. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me and I will see you in the next one.